Hi, I'm Debbie Ables with the Simply Put segment. Uh, we are also representative of Simply Put Newspaper, and this is our second show. Our first one was quite a success. And I'm here today with one of my very good friends, Gary P. West. We always call him Gary Precious West. Well, and, and, <laughs> until I changed my name. Until he changed his name. You know, name. one of the luckiest days in my life was when I met you. <laughs> <laughs> and just being here with you now you are is lucky. unbelievable. You are. You're the, very, very lucky. I, you know, here I am. You've got a TV show, and you're putting out a publication, and I've written a few books. What a combination. I'm telling you, we've known each other since tourism days. Gary yeah. was the executive director of my competition, Bowling Green, Warren County. And uh, I represented Bargetown in the convention and meeting department, and they yeah. used to get a lot of business from me. See, and I kept and thinking, you're still pointing your finger at me yes, like I that. Am. You used to do that when I first met you. And here you are, <laughs> 18 <laughs> years later, you're still going still after doing me. Still it. He still made me mad. He We're having fun today, though. Yes. And who would guess that the two of us would be now retired from tourism? Retired, yes. And me have a little free community newspaper, and now this wonderful television segment on Central Kentucky Television. And Gary becoming an author of many books, uh, of which we have highlighted in not only our newspaper, but also on our website. And he has become famous, shall we well, say. Well, I don't know about that, Debbie. I'd rather, the old saying, I'd rather be lucky than good any day. And uh, my first book I wrote about a basketball player. I have a sports background. I was tourism director, and then I was in the athletic administration at Western Kentucky University for 13 years right. and broadcast basketball games. And then in my college days, I was a sports editor to the Kentucky Colonel at the University of Kentucky for a semester. So I, I know sports a little bit. And King Kelly Coleman, the most legendary basketball player to ever play in the state of Kentucky. For you younger folks out there that don't know about King Kelly, right. it's a great read. He still has every scoring record in Kentucky after 50 years. That's true. People say, oh, it's Richie Farmer, or it's Daryl Griffin, or it's uh, whoever. Kelly Coleman, King Kelly Coleman is the guy. So I, get, yes. I, I wrote the book on King Kelly, and there's two things we like as Kentuckians. We like basketball, That's right. and we like to eat. That's now, right. I don't know what order they come in, <laughs> but I started out with basketball, and then my second book, I, I wrote Eating Your Way Across Kentucky, 101 Must Places to Eat. I didn't say, I didn't say they were the best places, but fun it's, places. They're, they're fun places. Mm -hmm. And you can go into these restaurants and expect a reasonable meal at a reasonable price. Okay. You can always expect something good. And it's Kentucky uh, food. It's Kentucky food. There's no chain restaurants in my books. Same. They are fun places to, to eat at. I, I'm trying to think around here uh, in Bargetown, there's Kirch's and Cresso's. Right. Uh, in Lebanon, there's Hennings. And in Raywick, there's uh, Missy's Missy's. Out of the Way Cafe. And boy, that is aptly named. Yes. Out of your way. Of I'm <laughs> telling you right now. And then I have over at Springfield, a uh, place I just enjoy going, Mordecai's. Mordecai's is great. So there's a lot of places in the area, in right. Town, back home. So you can get out and you can take these books. And we have people, when I say we, my wife and I, Deborah, right. we have people to call us and come by the house for us to sign the book. They've gone to all of the restaurants all across the state. It's right. taken them two years to do it. <laughs> and they've gotten them signed and they wrote down what they ate. That's and right. so it's just, it's a fun travel book. This is probably, I would guess, maybe your best seller because it is unique and because they actually have it with them in the car and it, and it is know. it is the best seller in fact that's the you're holding up the second edition of it yeah. the updated version of it Revised. so so I finished writing that book and I got back and some of my friends in Bowling Green where I live said boy we sure would like to have some recipes from those book uh, from the your book okay. so uh, I went back and I wish I'd have gotten the recipes when I was doing the book but and the and it's a flat book that See, has the spirals. Mark, and it up. lays flat. You don't have to use an That's iron right. or a mixer to lay down to hold it open. Look it's truly a recipe book. Uh, and my wife has cooked quite a few of them that are in there. So I did the recipe yes. book. Well, we featured a, some of the uh, recipes in here, and it's given you and the restaurant credit. You know, and hoping that they'll head out that way and try it. And there's a there's a gentleman actually here in Bargetown who has his recipe in here. Yes. I don't know. You may know him. Ken Abel's. Ken, is a, Ken has a, a oh, I'm telling you right now, he's got a diet menu to diet for. Yes, <laughs> right the biggest there. steak you can find and eat yeah. all of it. Yeah, <laughs> and, and he calls, I think, a flat iron steak because yeah. he takes an iron and sits down on it and calls it a flat iron he's steak. he's on page 82. Oh, we, he tries to offer them already down. Well, and then, uh, and then we, we got back from that. 
And Debbie, I had some people says, well, now we're out eating and we're doing all this stuff. Where are some neat places to shop? Was it this one? So I did a book, Shopping Your Way Across Kentucky. Uh, that has been relatively successful. And then I came back, excuse me. And, and a lot of stores in uh, our central Kentucky area are highlighted. They, they are. Uh, it's a, I got places in here that you might not think about going to in communities. And so a person can say, well, we're out here eating at this restaurant. Where can we go spend a little money? So we got this one. So I finished that one and I had some friends to say, well, what about some places to, uh, that we can go like on vacation. I love it. So I did the 101 yeah. must places to visit in Kentucky before you die. Yes. So uh, uh, I've, I've run the gamut with those, but then I wanted to get back to basketball. Right. And some of your listeners may be old enough to remember the ABA, American Basketball Association, Kentucky Colonel Basketball When thing. were the years that that They were there from 67 to 76, oh, nine yes. years. And they featured, they were owned by Joe and Mamie Gregory, uh, they were owned by John Y. and Ellie Brown. Okay. Uh, Adolph Rupp was actually their president for a year. Okay. Dan Issel, Louis Dampier, Mike Pratt, Daryl Carrier, Bobby Rasco, Artis Gilmore. It goes on and on. Some of the great names in the history of basketball in Kentucky played for the ABA okay, Kentucky yes. Colonels. This book has just been out a few months. Yes. I am so honored that in the Louisville Courier Journal, it's been featured for something like 14 weeks in the bestseller list. It has, and it's and been number one. It was number one for a couple of weeks, there too. There you go. And uh, I, I got to pinch myself Kentucky when Colonels. I think that I've got a number one bestseller, uh, even if it's in just in Kentucky. Doesn't so, matter. Uh, uh, but one of the things that I'm really proud of, too, Debbie, is all of the books, Acclaimed Press prints them. A lot of times, dust jacket gets torn and you don't know what the book yes. is. All of these are quality books yeah. that have the, the reprint on here on That's the actual true. cover itself. So, uh, you know, so everybody says, what's next? Well, I've got a couple of going and uh, books going. I'm working on one. Athletic Family in Corbin, Kentucky, the Selby and the Bird Family. Uh, some of you sports listeners might know them. And fun. then I'm doing a book on the history of the Beaumont Inn. Oh. The Deadman family has uh, contracted with me. That's a wonderful that. place. Yellow Lake Chicken. Yeah, That's Yellow a Lake great Chicken place and Two Euro Country Ham. I love it. I love it. And then I've got another book that could be a national selling book that I'm not ready to tell I about. I know what just it's about, yet. but I'll be yeah, quiet. That just yet. So, <laughs> so uh, and then some of the people said, you know, I wrote my Eating Your Way Across Kentucky book, and then a while I thought about. It. Maybe eating, why not do one, drinking your way across Kentucky. <laughs> How about and hit some sleeping of the, your way across Well, and then Kentucky. sleeping away. The drinking, the drinking book would be about pubs and that would meat be bars and that would bourbon be bars. And then the sleeping could be about B&Bs and neat little places. Nice mom way, and pop cabins, out of the way, hotels, cabins and everything. Farms, so, uh, they, there are some of the, the farms yes, you can stay and yes. that type of rural. We are thrilled to have you here with March Madness going on. Well, uh, it, and it, uh, it seems like every month's madness now, but isn't this wild, the basketball and the Kentucky teams? Have you got there, a favorite? Kentucky, well, the University of Kentucky. Right. Now, I have to confess, I was for Western in that game. I'm oh, a yeah. University of Kentucky graduate, but for 13 years I got a paycheck from Western, from Western. Kentucky University from broadcasting their basketball games. And it's not, and, and I like Louisville when Louisville's playing. Right. And I, got, I really got on the Murray State bandwagon. From they down in far did west really, Kentucky, well, did great. They all did uh, really, really well. And then well. Bellarmine and Kentucky Wesleyan are yeah. competing for a national championship. That's right. So it's truly March Madness, and uh, uh, I'm I'm very lucky with with my Kentucky Colonel. Well, who do you think is going to be the Cinderella team? I, we thought it was Lehigh until last night. Well, uh, you, you've got to look at Ohio University right now. Okay. That's in there. I, I was, uh, of course, Lehigh had knocked off Duke. Okay. But Ohio right. University, you know, uh, some of our listeners may be from Ohio. Do you realize that four teams from Ohio and are still in the Sweet 16? That's great. You've got Cincinnati, you've got Xavier, you've got Ohio State, and you've got Ohio University. And they're still there. But we're all about Kentucky. That's true. And Kentucky's going to win it all. You think? Uh, there's no, all right, I'm counting There's on no it. question. Since nobody mind. from Georgia is playing, and that's my hometown, <laughs> who are much better at, bas at football than basketball, trust me. Well, they are right now. I can remember when I moved here, it was like 86, and we had moved into an apartment because we were looking for a home, and we hadn't found one yet, so we just stashed everything in storage, and the people across the hall called us up and said, we're having a, a party tonight, and we've got the game on. Do you want to come over? And we said, well, we would love to. And we walked in. It was basketball. And we went, basketball? Because <laughs> Georgia's such a football yes. team. And I guess that's because maybe our basketball teams weren't that good. <laughs> that was part of the reason. 
But sure enough, then I realized that there is, you know, regionally, there is a big, big difference in what people watch with sports, well, having hockey in certain areas. But now it's all kind of blending out there. And Kentucky is truly a basketball state. They are definitely. But the King, back King Kelly Coleman, yes. Adolph Rupp, and Adolph Rupp, uh, I published a blurb in there that he actually wrote that King Kelly Coleman is the greatest high school player you ever saw. True. And that's, uh, and Joe B. Hall told me once I had got Kelly to be on the Joe B. and Denny radio show and Joe right. B said the only autograph I've ever wanted in my life was King Kelly Coleman. Did he get it? And he got it. He got it. So he got it, yes. Well, and he really, uh, the, the fa thing that I found fascinating too was the fact that he really slipped off the radar and was almost, I don't want to well, say a hermit, but well, he, he was. Well, he was. He's a low-keyed guy and doesn't talk too much. But uh, for and listeners, King Kelly Coleman, he still has the state tournament scoring record, 68 points in a game at the state tournament, no three-point shot then. He yeah. still has the rebounding record, 28 rebounds at the state tournament. Wow. He had one game in high school that he had 75 points and 41 rebounds in the same game. That's a career for a lot of us. Well, and he, he had it in one game. Is he out a little bit more? He now, is you, out a little bit more. You're doing a thing with the, um, uh, is it? Champions or heroes of the of Hall, Kentucky High Hall School Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame. deal, and he is out, and he's making himself more visible. Uh, he spends some of his winters for a couple of months in Florida, and he gets back here. But uh, I'm still had contact with him, and and he's he's out and about, and the book has really helped him too. And you've really you really had a job getting him to come and out of being it a recluse wasn't easy. and to actually. I spent let several you. months tracking him down where he lived at yeah. the time, and then he let and you then, write it, and then. Uh, Yes, he told me right in the middle of it, he said, Gary, I've decided I'm not going to do the book. I said, Kelly, <laughs> you've got to. He said, no. I said, well, Kelly, I've put enough time into this that I'm going to do the book with or without you. With or you. without you. <laughs> but it would be a lot better book with you. And he said, okay, I'm going to do it. And now he's happy that he did he's it. He's very happy. His family's happy. He's from Whalen, Whalen, Kentucky, up in Floyd County. Oh, wow. And played at Whalen High School. But what a player. He's the most career points ever scored by a prep player. The closest to him is uh, almost 1,000 points behind him. Oh, my goodness. That's how much. He averaged 48 a game his senior year. Whew. So he was some kind of player. Made All-American. He was the number nine player drafted in the 1960 NBA draft. He was the number one high school player ranked ahead of Oscar Robertson and Jerry West. Wow. And he had some problems. He had a lot of personal problems, and they caught up with him. So he was never a great pro, but he was a great college player. Well, let me ask you this. If I were watching the show and I wanted to get in touch, you know, with you, or how would I find the books? I know some of them are carried at the state parks. They're carried at state parks. They're carried at uh, Joseph Beth, Barnes Noble, right. used to be at Borders also. Some of the gift shops around uh, and bookstores do carry them, or they can email me. They can get, uh, get in touch with you directly, and or you could yeah. you could get in touch with us at Simply Put Newspaper. We yeah. could give you yeah. Gary's email address. But uh, <laughs> we will be posting in our paper uh, the list of his books and also how to get in touch with him. Uh, and then, too, if, uh, you, if you are in Bowling Green or in that general area or, or outside of central Kentucky and are interested in watching the show and, and knowing a little yep. bit more about, you can see uh, this interview on the web on centralkentuckytelevision.com during the times that the Simply Put newspaper is, yeah. uh, the segment is actually scheduled. And we do keep that schedule in our paper every Friday. You can pick up a new paper and it's on the back page and is updated every month. So, Debbie, I keep a, a several of these books on hand and people want me to autograph them for sure. people's birthday, Mother's Day, Easter's Father's Day, Easter, anything. And I write little personalized notes to them Perfect. and I mail them out so they'll email me and uh, I, I send them out to them like well that. I've a never had of... any trouble we have given your books away in our contest our lips contest in the in the uh, paper and I can tell you anytime I offer one of Gary's books we have a flood of uh, people filling out the form who found the lips and want that book so well, like I said one of the luckiest days was when I met you <laughs> and I'd rather be lucky than good anytime thank you well we are thrilled to have Gary with us today and surely you all will enjoy his books as much as we have. Whether you're a sports fan or you're interested in traveling and seeing the back roads of Kentucky, right. uh, by all means, get in touch with him. And we hope that you'll turn, tune us back in because we will have you back many times. I would like that. Thank you. Thank you.